welcome back. So today I am smoking another La Barba cigar. Uh, if you watched my last video, I reviewed the La Barba Orange Band, uh, the La Barba Ricochet. Fantastic cigar. Uh, but this time I wanted to go ahead and review La Barba's first cigar that they came out with back in 2010. So this is the La Barba, it's just called the La Barba Red, with the red band. So unlike the orange banded Ricochet, this does have a little bit of a different makeup to it, which gives it some different flavors. So this is a Dominican Corojo wrapper with Dominican and Ligero long fillers. The description says this has uh, notes of pepper, cocoa, cedar, uh, spice. So there is, there is just a, a slight spiciness to this cigar, uh, but very, very tasty. So this is what started uh, these La Barba cigars, was this one right here, the Red Band. Yeah, fantastic. Just a great cigar. If you watch my other review of the La Barba Ricochet, uh, they had uh, the, this, so La Barba Red was the first cigar, the La Barba Purple, band was the next cigar that they came out with then they came out with the orange band ricochet and then this ricochet with the blue band so all a little bit different but these are all just fantastic cigars and again la barba is uh, from the caldwell brand so a lot of good stuff coming out of there all right let's go ahead and get this cigar fired up just like the uh, Ricochet, great construction on this. The wrapper is a little bit less oily than the Ricochet, but uh, but really, yeah, really good construction on this. Uh, this is a six by 54, so great size cigar. So, <clears throat> a little bit of a, an issue with the cap here. Uh, I really think this has just not been in my humidor long enough. So, um, hopefully no other issues. Yeah, I mean, definite difference from the Ricochet. Uh, this does not have quite the spice that the Ricochet has. Uh, but this one's a lot smoother, but very tasty. Just like the Ricochet, right away, uh, you really start to get those notes. The, the, the cedar, the little bit of spice, uh, pepper, um, right off the bat. Yeah, and I mean, just a <clears throat> fantastic draw. You get a lot of smoke. So very, very tasty. So I'm going to keep working on this La Barba and check back in towards the end. All right, we're back with the La Barba Red. This has been a great cigar. Uh, I've been smoking this for about an hour. So I've got a little bit left to go. So uh, about an hour and 15 minutes for this one. Uh, I have set it down a couple times for a few minutes each time, so I, I have had to do one or two relights, but uh, if I were just kind of just smoking this all the way through, uh, it's been great. Nice even burn, no canoeing, uh, nothing falling apart. Now the, the wrapper is a little bit dry, as you can see it's kind of coming apart a little bit. So I, I think this one was just a little overly dry when I got it, and it, it just didn't spend enough time in my humidor, but um, as far as the smoking experience has been a, a great cigar, <clears throat> uh, even with that. So, uh, so again, this is a Dominican Corojo wrapper, Dominican and Ligero long fillers, <clears throat> and uh, you know the Ligero really gives this thing a nice, uh, sort of a nice kick all the way through as you're smoking it. Really, really sets this thing apart. Um, as you're smoking it. Again, the La Barba Red, this was their first cigar for this line back in 2010. And uh, I can see why this was sort of their flagship cigar. Uh, it's really, really good. <clears throat> this is 
Um, I, I like I like a good Maduro, heavy, robust, spicy cigar. This one is very smooth, but it's it's uh, it's a very strong cigar without being overly heavy and dark. So. Um, if, if you like a, a, a robust cigar, but still nice and smooth, uh, just a slight kick to it, uh, with a little bit, uh, just a little bit of a bite, this is this is a great one to go with. So, um, really, just really fantastic cigar. Um, yeah, I, I really I can't say enough good things about the La Barbas. Um, I, I've, ever since I discovered these a few years ago, uh, it, whenever I see them, I, I, I pick one up. Uh, they're very very good. So. Yeah, if you like a smoother but still robust cigar, the La Barba Red is going to do the trick. If you like a much heavier Maduro, more spice, the last review I did on the orange label La Barba Ricochet, much heavier, noticeably spicier with that one. So other than that, these are the same size cigar. I'm getting a very similar smoke time out of each of them. But uh, yeah, the La Barba Red, this is a much, much smoother cigar in terms of the, uh, uh, the overall strength. Uh, but a lot of flavor. Uh, you get a lot of that pepper, cocoa, cedar, just a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick with the Leggero. Uh, really, really good. So uh, I would say, again, these are, these are still very much a boutique brand cigar. Um, I don't see these around very often yet, but uh, online I would say you can expect to pay around $6 per stick. Uh, in a retail lounge setting, you're probably going to expect around $11 per stick, somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, but uh, even, at the la you know, even at the retail price, uh, I was, uh, never had a, an issue picking one up. Um, I felt that these were definitely worth it uh, every bit. So yeah, La Barba Red. Uh, it, but again, if you see come across any La Barba cigars, got the purple band, the blue Ricochet, the orange band Ricochet, uh, or anything by Caldwell, very very good, great great boutique cigars, uh, great great stuff from a smaller brand who I, I, I believe is up and coming, uh, and for good reason. I mean, just fantastic cigars. They they just they really stand out from. A lot of the other cigars in their same price range so all right i'm willing to finish this up i hope you will join me for the next cigar review